after 40 live events on Access TV. The 2017 MMA season wrapped up from the Mystic Lake Casino in Minnesota, LFA 29. Hey everyone, I'm Ron Crook. He is the UFC Hall of Famer, Pat Militich. Yes, we are wearing our incredible sweaters to end the year, Pat, and your bells are still jingling. How about that? Who would ever have thought you would see that? Only here on Access TV and this recap. What a night, LFA 29. Brandon Jenkins taking on that man, Crazy Carl Whitstock in a lightweight bout. Pat, this one was fun. Oh, absolutely. I mean, it was like a tough man contest with some technique, right? Uh, Jenkins, obviously the superior striker, technician, but Whitstock, talk about heart and grit, just kept coming forward no matter what he got hit with. What a war, blood everywhere and they were both smiling pretty much the entire fight. This was a three round war and I think Pat these guys would have gone another three they were having so much fun. Absolutely. But in the end the security officer from the Mystic Casino here Brandon Jenkins gets the win and proves to 11 and 5. Moving on Nate Jennerman taking on Sam Toomer who came into this fight with a very impressive 11 and one record. Toomer started out the fight great. I mean, he started picking Gentleman apart. And Gentleman wised up really quick, closed the gap, and started putting Sam Toomer on the ground. Once he realized that he had the advantage there, he stayed there, capitalized off it, and gets this beautiful choke. Gentleman went to work, and there was no escape for Sam Toomer. Another submission victory for Nate Gentleman. This was a big one. Takes out Sam Toomer and puts the LFA featherweight division on alert. Mike Richmond and Jeff Peterson going at it. Two U.S. Marines facing off, and this was nonstop action as well. Richmond, I mean, the first two rounds, his boxing really controlled the entire fight, landing numerous shots. The only thing Peterson could do for the most part was land low kicks. Uh, third round, Peterson came back clearly in my mind, won that round. We had Richmond up clearly, as clear as it gets, two rounds to one Absolutely. over Peterson. But as we have seen here before in Minnesota, somehow the judges give Jeff Peterson the unanimous decision victory. What in the wide, wide world of sports were they watching? Son of a nutcracker, that was a bad decision. All right, main event. Bantamweight title on the line, Chico Camus and that man, young 25-year-old Ricky Simone. And early on, Pat, Simone cut open Camus and he had a hard time recovering from it. Yeah, I mean, Ricky Simone's wrestling controlled this fight for the most part. One round where Chico was able to win a round, but in my mind, I mean, just the spear of strength, athletic ability, and wrestling ability from Ricky Simone is what won this fight. Really, really tough guy. And Chico Camas was never out of this fight by any means. No, he is as tough as they come. But tonight was Ricky Simone's night, improving to 11 and one victorious in his LFA debut. But more importantly, you are looking at the future. He is the new LFA Bantam weight champion. Well, thanks to everyone for Tuning in this year, 40 events on the network. We're going to take a break and we'll come back firing with the best of 2017. That goes down January 5th. And then the live events continue as the LFA machine rolls on. LFA 30, January 12th. LFA 31 on the 19th. And LFA 32 on the 26th. For my broadcasting partners, Pat Militich, I'm Ron Kruk. Happy holidays, everyone.